Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our service. We didn't have a service on Tuesday last week, so it feels like a long time since we've had one. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. I've got Paul just putting the dinner on and he, on his way back into the room, he's going to double check that the sound's working okay. I did try and double check it earlier, so hopefully you can hear me okay and I can see uh, the volume going up and down on my screen. So hopefully we're all right this time. Um, so uh, today we're going to be celebrating St Bartholomew, who's one of the 12 apostles. It was actually his feast day yesterday, but as we usually do, we choose the nearest feast day for our Tuesday Eucharist. So that's what we're going to be celebrating this evening. And I can hear Paul's phone, so it's working, so you can all hear me. So I can see that's five of you that have joined us. So uh, Paul's given me the thumbs up and he's coming in to join us. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to start so thank you for joining us isn't it windy today gosh proper proper storm raging outside so we're gathering together for a bit of calm in the storm so let's begin our service okay in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you so we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we come to recognise where we've got things wrong this week where we've let God down on ourselves so we come together to confess our sins we have not always worshipped God our creator Lord have mercy Lord have mercy we have not always followed Christ our saviour Christ have mercy Christ have mercy we have not always trusted in the spirit our guide Lord have mercy Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so the prayer for St Bartholomew's Day. Almighty and everlasting God, who gave to your Apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and to preach your word, Grant that your church may love that word which he believed and may faithfully preach and receive the same through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. So our first reading is taken from the prophecy of Isaiah. Oops, sorry. Bring forth the people who are blind, yet have eyes, who are deaf, yet have ears. Let all the nations gather together and let the peoples assemble. Who among them declared this and foretold to us the former things? Let them bring their witnesses to justify them and let them hear and say, it is true. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. I, I am the Lord, and besides me there is no saviour. I declared and saved and proclaimed when there was no strange God among you. And you are my witnesses, says the Lord. I am God, and also henceforth I am he. There is no one who can deliver from my hand. I work, and who can hinder it? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? 
Philip said to him, come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the son of man. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. You might be wondering why we just had that reading about Philip and Nathaniel when it's St Bartholomew's Day. Uh, but tradition says we think that Bartholomew is actually one and the same person as Nathaniel, that, he, that the names got mixed up over the years. And so I wanted to read that passage today um, about um, the call of Nathaniel or Bartholomew as we're celebrating today. I'm going to talk about the passage because Bartholomew, the apostle, was rather gruesomely martyred. Um, he, he was skinned alive, which is rather unpleasant. So I'm not going to be talking about that today. <laughs> we're going to have a look um, a little more closely at this account between Philip and Nathaniel and Jesus. And I was quite struck reading it once again um, by the fact that there were some similarities with what I preached about on Sunday. Those of you that were there or watched it online uh, will know that I was sharing about the fact that Jesus sees us differently from the way we look at ourselves and also the way our friends see us. I was asking people to think about how they might describe Peter and we tend to call him impetuous and and puts his foot in it and a bit of a big mouth and yet Jesus doesn't see him in that way. Jesus calls Peter the rock on which he will build the church and the same thing is going on here with this story of the call of Bartholomew or Nathaniel that Jesus sees Nathaniel under the fig tree and knows him. He knows him before he's even been called and we have to remember that Jesus looks on us with God's eyes, with different eyes from the eyes of the world and also our own because I think we can be our own worst critics. So we need to hear what Jesus has to say to us and he sees us in a wholly different light. It reminds me of a story I once heard about a young girl who was really struggling and a pastor said to her, can I ask you a multiple choice question? And the girl said, all right then. And he said, when God looks at you, does he think of you with A, disappointment, B, joy, C, anger, or D, I'm trying to remember the third or fourth one now. Frustration, that's the one, thank you Paul. He's heard this one before, frustration. So was it, look, I've forgotten them again now. What was it, A? Anger, joy, disappointment. Anger, joy, disappointment or frustration. And the girl just looked up and said, well, obviously disappointment. I've not been able to fulfil any of the things that I wanted to in terms of following, following God. And the pastor just looked at her and said, no, the answer is always joy. God always looks on us with joy when he sees us because he sees us as how he made us to be. And we need to live up to that. The answer is always joy. That's the thing to remember from today. And so, of course, Nathaniel or Bartholomew enthusiastically followed Jesus and saw him for who he was as well, the son of God. Thanks for your help there, Paul. So now we come to our time of prayer. In peace, let us pray to Jesus our Lord, whoever lives to make intercession for us. Saviour of the world, be present in all places of suffering, violence and pain. 
and bring hope even in the darkest night. Inspire us to continue your work of reconciliation today. We pray for all the nations of the world. We pray especially for the people of Lebanon and of Belarus. We pray for those caught up in the violence in America. We pray for our own country, especially those involved in preparing for schools to reopen safely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the Church, empower by your Spirit all Christian people and the work of your Church in every land. Give us grace to proclaim the Gospel joyfully in word and deed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Shepherd and guardian of our souls, guide and enable all who lead and serve this community and those on whom we depend for our daily needs. Grant that we may seek the peace and welfare of this place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Great physician, stretch out your hand to bring comfort, wholeness and peace to all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. We bring before God those known to us who are in need of our prayers. Fill us with compassion, that we may be channels of your healing love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Conqueror of death, remember for good those whom we love but see no longer. We remember especially today the Reverend David Hull and also baby Walter Lockwood. Help us to live this day in the sure and certain hope of your eternal victory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. So let us offer one another a virtual sign of peace or a real one if you're with someone. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us a cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. 
On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will Lord. come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St James, St John the Baptist, Bartholomew and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. body of Christ broken for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. And the blood of Christ shed for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. So we pray together. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day. Amen. Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let's bow our heads to receive God's blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for coming this evening. It's been nice to be back. Um, our next services will be Thursday morning on the telephone and then this Sunday will be 10 o'clock at Clown Church and also live on the Clown Facebook page. So you can either watch it live at home um, or uh, come in person along to the Clown Church at 10 o'clock. Um, I've said it before but I'll say it again. Um, after the service has been filmed live on a Sunday morning, I then edit the video and add the words so that you can join in with them at home. So you might want to wait until the evening on a Sunday to watch the service so that you can join in with the words at home. So um, hopefully we'll see you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye now. <laughs>